We were fairly a jump ahead of the rest of the world in transonic testing. We started at RE Farnborough in November 1941 uh, because you have to have the aircraft that is there for the job. And we had the Spitfire 5 at that time available. And, um, <coughs> but it was limited because it didn't have a two-speed, two-stage supercharger, so it didn't have the altitude where we wanted to get the, the dives at higher, um, at higher altitude, of course. So um, we were moving in the right direction, and we had reached a stage where we had enough confidence to put out a specification in 1943 for a supersonic research aircraft, which turned out to be the M52. I say specification, there were only six things detailed on it, and it was absolutely simple. And um, go achieve a thousand miles an hour, and uh, there's a funny story on that too, because we really were trying to chase the Germans at this stage, and we had found a German document which said they were going to go for a thousand kilometers an hour. But the uh, typist misread it and put in a thousand miles an hour. And this is, you believe it or not, this is how the specification ended up. <laughs> and um, the Germans had in fact achieved a thousand kilometers an hour with Heine Dittmar flying the ME163A. So, on that basis, we were left with a blank sheet. So, we were all fiddling in the dark. This is a, an, an area where none of us really were.